Hi my dear friends today we will see what is absolute threshold in neuroscience and psychophysics an absolute threshold was originally defined as the lowest level of stimulus light sound touch odor etc vision all those that an organism could detect under the influence of signal detection theory absolute threshold has been redefined as the level at which a stimulus will be detected a specific percentage of the time at least 50% of the time the stimulus should be detected should be learned or so the absolute threshold can be influenced by several different factors such as the subject's motivations and expectations cognitive processes and whether the subject is adapted to the stimulus the absolute threshold can be compared to the difference threshold which is the measure of how different two stimuli must be for the subject to notice that they are not the same keep this in mind this absolute threshold definition is in the case of neuroscience and psychophysics simply put the absolute threshold is the smallest amount of a stimulus that a person can detect half the time if the person is observing for 1 hour the person should be able to get the stimulus at least for 30 minutes of the time for example imagine that the researchers are conducting an experiment on light detection in such an experiment researchers may place participants in a dark room and then ask them to say when they can detect a light stimulus the smallest amount of light stimulus that the participants can detect is known as the absolute threshold in hearing stimulus for hearing the absolute threshold refers to the smallest level of a tone that can be detected by normal hearing when there are no other interfering sounds present An example of this might be measured at what levels participants can detect the ticking sound of a clock. Young children generally have a lower absolute threshold for sounds since the ability to detect sounds at the lowest and highest ranges tends to decrease with age. In the case of vision, the absolute threshold refers to the smallest level of light that a participant can detect. determining the absolute threshold for vision might involve measuring the distance at which the participant can detect the presence of a candle flame in the dark for example imagine that you are participant in a psychology experiment you are placed in a dark room and asked to detect when you are first able to detect the presence of a light at the other end of the room in order to determine the absolute threshold you would go through a number of trials during each trial you would signal when you are first able to detect the presence of light the smallest level that you are able to detect half of the time is your absolute threshold for light detection in the case of odor the odor is detected threshold is the lowest concentration of a certain odor compound that is perceivable by the human sense of smell the threshold of a chemical compound is determined by part by its shape polarity partial changes and molecular mass the olfactory mechanism responsible for each compound's detection threshold is not well understood thus these thresholds cannot yet be accurately predicted rather they must be measured through extensive test using human subjects in laboratory settings in the case of touch the amount of force required for you to detect the feeling of a feather lightly brushing your arm is an example of absolute threshold for touch when it comes to touch the level of stimulation requires to detect the stimulus can vary dramatically depending upon the part of the body that is being touched for example the absolute threshold of detecting touch may be much lower at your fingertips versus that of the back of your neck in the case of taste in 1999 j stillman r p morton and d goldsmith performed a study testing absolute threshold of taste and found that automated testing of taste was just as reliable as traditional testing 
Additionally, they found statistical significance of the right side of the tongue having lower absolute threshold than the left side. The finding leads to the possibility that the right hemisphere of the brain is better at processing gustatory stimuli than the left. Being deprived of calories for a short time increases sensitivity and decreases absolute threshold for sweet and salty foods. Other factors such as pregnancy and smoking can influence taste sensitivity. Influencing factors are, while absolute threshold is often thought of purely in terms of sensation and perception, a number of factors can play a role including expectations, motivation and thoughts. For example, if you are expecting to hear a noise, you might be more likely to detect it at lower levels than you would if you do not expect to hear the noise. Researchers have found that women tend to have lower absolute threshold than men, meaning they have better able to detect lower level of sight, smell, taste, touch and sound. Introverted people have also been found to be better able to detect stimulus level at lower levels. Absolute thresholds are prone to change as people grow older. When people are young, they are able to detect energy levels at lower levels. They require greater stimulation to detect these same stimuli when they are older. Sensory processing disorder, this comes in relation with absolute threshold. Some people have abnormally high or low absolute threshold for one or more senses that interference with their quality of life. They tend to avoid stimulation, seek after it or perhaps not notice it at all. This is a symptom of that can be diagnosed as a sensory processing disorder, SPD, also known as sensory integration dysfunction which is common in people with autism. Thank you very much.